Yes, yes, boys. We are here back with another Darken video, and you boys knew this video was coming out straight after the last video. Because we're going to see how does Kessler do with that one dupe. And uh, because you know, if you saw the summon video yesterday, or yesterday or two days ago, when we pulled two in one summon, that was crazy. And I had to stick with, yo, I gave her the sticker. I ain't even a Kefla fan, but yo, if you look at this sticker, dudes. Look at this sticker. This sticker was definitely worth getting, I think. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to jump into it and we're going to see how well Kefla does. I'm going to be running her on the Universe 16. Usually I stick to Universal Survival Saga, but you know what? Let's mess it up a bit. You know, let's try this team out because I never really tried this team out. And we can finally run this team without running tech hit that is the main thing so now that we don't have to run tech hit we don't have to be i have got some squishy supports yes but that's just you know that's just so we can like see you know how much damage we can make kefla do so i may take a bit of damage on the slaps here but we'll we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes just need to get another kefla friend with preferably one dupe as well yeah that's how i want to do it and if you have a look at this so i've got kefla uh, linking partner as Kellen Khalifa. Finally, Kellen Khalifa have another team that they work on properly, properly. Linking partner also is Kaba, and then we have free support on the float. So obviously, the free support may take a bit of damage. That's what we got items for. And uh, let's jump straight into it. I do need to ask you guys as well if you like that Darken content, definitely do hit that like and also think about subscribing, my dudes, because you know we do an all kinds of dock and content okay unfortunately we got both on the first rotation so i think i'll keep mine on first rotation here so let's see how much damage she does day one day one so i'm not gonna be able to hit six orbs either so let's see how we're going uh, 1.3 that's a bit low 1.3 is a little bit low but you got to remember this is only one dupe remember this isn't like i've got some crazy amounts this is literally, and uh, yeah, 3.1 from Kale and Khalif though, because now that we've got double careful, obviously, like, universe 6 units and everything. So they're going to be doing a bit more damage than they usually would, because 3.1 million no support is actually, you know, kind of 1.8 on the 12 keys as well, yeah. So Kale and Khalif have just got an upgrade technically with Kefla, since now they've got a proper linking partner. Okay, and the next rotation is going to be awful because it is literally my support units. <laughs> oh no, I did not see this happening. Honestly, I did not see this happening. But uh, we're going to do it anyway. Let's see what let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're getting them dodges in. Unfortunately, I think I'll have to float off Kale and Khalifa next rotation because I want to keep that strength caber on rotation as soon as possible because. Strength Kefler needs those orbs. In Super Saiyan 1, if you get 6 orbs, she gets 50% increased damage. And in Super Saiyan 2, which is the one that you mainly will be sitting on, of course, she gets guaranteed super attack after hitting 6 orbs. And like, so that's fully guaranteed as well. So, you know, she can do some intense damage if she has those orbs changed. Because without those 6 orbs, you know, she doesn't get that. And she also, she stacks attack. And oh my god, those orb changes were terrible. Yeah, those orb changes did not come through for me whatsoever. Okay, so I'm going to put Kaba there. To, he's going to take a bit of damage. Can I try and force the 6 key? Oh no. No 6 key for me, boys. But So, Kaba is going to take a bit of damage. I never gave him that much orbs either. That was really unlucky with the orb changes. Usually, Kaba is on top of things when it comes to orb changing. That's just a bit unlucky. That's just, you know... Hopefully Kaba bounces back, that's what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, Kaba looking to be one of the, Okay, what are we going to hit here? 2.86, yeah, we did not even get the 50% increase. And Kefla's here with that 2.86. Which is mad. That's 3.5 here. Let's go. Yeah, so the type support are get... like. Okay, let me explain it like this. The more overpowered units that come out in Dokken the stronger that the type supports get. Because if they're supporting these broken units and making these broken units even stronger, then 
you know, it works like that. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one on the float. No, not on float. So I'm going to keep this Kefla on main rotation. Also going to have both Keflas on main rotation. And I think this one did hit the six orbs. So we're going to see a bit more damage after. Yeah, see, hit them six orbs, 3.5. Now, both of these Keflas are one dupe as well. So like, this is not like some outlandish rainbow stuff. And this is before link changing. This is before the links change. So... Of course, when Link changes, you're going to see a little bit more damage here and there. But still, solid, solid damage from Super Saiyan 1. Although, you will see it go down a little bit at Super Saiyan 2 at the beginning. I will let you know how it works, dude. I will let you know. Okay, so the Super Saiyan 2 transformation coming through right now. Let's go. That's, that's power, that is. That's power. Come on, give me that good orb change. You can give me that good orb change. Uh, okay, but it doesn't matter because I get those orbs in. Look at all those blue orbs. So, Kappa's not going to kill here. Kappa's not going to kill. But this is that double super right there. And uh, let's go. So, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is guaranteed to do an additional super. It's not like a high chance. It's not like medium chance. It's guaranteed. Oh, God. So, I'm only going to hit her up once. Or hit him once, sorry. Because he's not surviving this. 3.3 mil. And remember, this attack raises. That's a raise right there. That's a raise. And the second one going in as well. You transform on like turn 5. It's crazy. Like, because if you think about how long, or turn 4, if you think about how long they make the, what are they called again? The Go Tanks and Boo units, they have to wait ages, which just is not that fair. The Goat Tanks unit is actually stronger than this unit, although I will say, like, the Goat, from pure power perspective, I can say, like, probably Goat Tanks is stronger. Not the Boo, the Boo, well, the Boo has tankiness, so 2.7 mil. Of course, this one has not got the strength cover on rotation, so it's going to be looking a little bit lower, but bang, and into a 2.8 mil, guaranteed. So, <laughs> it's okay to build a team around this unit, because they do so much damage. That is fine, honestly, it's fine. So, we're gonna go in and 4 million off the Kale and Khalifa, man. Got others. Bye bye, Piccolo, maybe, if I can get a crit in. Can I get a crit in? Yes, let's go. And they didn't get their additional super, unfortunately, but. Champo about to hit me up with that crit. Oh, no crit. Oh, no. Oh, yes! I was doubting Champa a little bit, you know. I was, you know, a little bit of doubt, but he's like, don't worry. He's got me. He's got me. Okay, so that's Piccolo gone. And we're against a AGL unit. This is the only AGL unit of the fight. Oh, okay. So, this is another thing. The active skill can be used against a tournament of power unit or pure Saiyans. And what it does is it changes physical to strength. And for this turn, I'm super effective against all types. So, what better place to use it than against the AGL? Because, of course, you know, I'm trying to do some damage here. I'm not trying to uh, hit him for nothing, uh, even if I don't, like, because if I don't crit, it's not going to do any damage. But now, I'm kind of covered, so let's go. 3.4 now. Okay, we're getting our stacks up. Gonna hit. I love this super. I'm not a Kefla fan, don't get it twisted. That super attack's pretty clean, and yeah, 3.4 into 3.6. 7 million damage. Like, and the active skill does not increase damage at all or anything. It just gives me orbs. So, that was all Kefla's damage right there. 7 mil. Oh, I wish I had it. Oh, that could have killed. Uh, actually, Vados is going to get the kill here. Yeah, I did pre... I did rainbow this unit purely because, you know, I may be using Universe 6 a little bit now. And she didn't kill. Oh, are you kidding me, Vados? <laughs> Uh, at least you're getting some dodges and though that weave. She can also dodge in her final form, it's just we have not seen much of that. I'll save that for a bit after then, since this is the guaranteed kill. And, you know, I'm going to get that stack either way. Let's get them stacks up. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to super attack this guy twice anyways, even if the orbs were there. Yeah, okay, so yeah, there are those Kefla dodges. Not the best, but, you know, they're still there. So it's crazy, a unit has dodges, additionals, and a chance of having super effective damage against... Quite a high, quite a high section of the roster on Dokken, because you know pure Saiyans. It's not as big as the pure and hybrid Saiyans like cooler, but it's still something. It's still something. Again, Kabas does not give me those orb changes that I need. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to go just with the one superhero, I do think. Because there's no way of me hitting six orbs. So, unfortunately, we're going to be left like that. So, this is a one superhero from Kefla again. So, again, you are kind of at the mercy of the orb changing from Kaba at this point. Like, if Kaba changes the orbs amazingly, then, you know, we're going to ch be chilling. But four million, oh, that would have been a four mil into like a 4.2 mil. Oh, that damage would have been through the roof. Also, when you do those two super attacks, it has a higher chance of plucking the additional of your Kefla. So you can do two super attacks and then the third one has a chance of coming out if you got a dupe in. So with the dupe, you have a high, you know, not a high chance, but you have an increased chance of seeing some good numbers. There's no way of me hitting those orbs right there, is there? Hit that, can I get those greens together somehow? I can, but it's only five orbs. I tried, boys, I tried. Uh, no super attack from Vados, unfortunately, but... Oh, that would have been amazing. Okay, so... Orbs do me a dip wrong. The orbs are doing me a bit wrong right now. But it's okay, it's okay, because... Even doing one super, we're still raising the attack, and, you know, still doing some good damage, and uh, 3.7 mil on the Kale and Cleef right here. Yeah. For any of you guys that are wondering, maybe you guys are kind of new, my Kale and Khalifla has two dupes. And two dupes is pretty high for Aida. So, let's get this in. 2.9, yeah, and give it a stack. Crazy, she does more damage in a Super Saiyan 1 form with her initial attack. But then she starts stacking when she hits Super Saiyan 2, so... You know, it works both ways. I get and Kaba, please. Kaba. Yes, Kaba. That's what I'm talking about. That's my boy Kaba right there. Because if I just show you the unit, actually, I had, did not show you boys the unit, but the raises attack, immense damage, and lowest defense, but lowest defense. Are we really going to count that? Yep, so. High chance of evading enemies' attack. And it also launched an additional super attack with six or more key spheres. So, high chance of evading enemies' attacks as well. That's, that's definitely worth having. I'm doing okay as well, even with all these support units, I haven't had to like item up yet, which is nice because I'm doing so much damage with the main one. Like, look at this, 3.9. Like, she's doing enough damage to like carry the whole rotation right here. Then into a 4.1, so again... Ooh, am I working this one out? Seven, that's like 8 mil, 8 mil. No, okay. <laughs> Okay, it's not just 8 mil anymore, it's 12.3 mil. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking like. When a unit has the potential to do that, like, she just did more damage than my Kaelin Khalifla. Like, actually more damage than my LR Kaelin Khalifla. My LR Kaelin Khalifla's got dupes in, don't get it twisted. Yes, I have got strength cabot on the rotation as a support unit, but 12 million damage, that's like something that the. LR, Vegito Blue, and Gogeta Blue are getting after the link changes. I'm going to pop this now because this is the only time that I'm fighting a Pure Saiyan on this. And if I don't use this now, I won't be able to use it at all. Because after this, it is Strength Gohan into Strength... No, into Int Gohan, actually. So, let's go. I'm going to hit that. But I think Kellen Cleaves are actually going to kill. But it is what it is. Let's see how it goes. God, there's some good orbs there, there's some very good orbs. Yeah, 4 million from this unit. Also, again, let me know in the comments, boys. Did you drop? Because I know I was not going to drop. Even with the step up, I, you know, I told you, boys, I'm not dropping. But the stream convinced me. And, you know, when your boy gets convinced, it's like, ah, you know, let's just see how it goes. Because I did drop on stream. If you do want to check me out on stream, it is that Kizan Dokken, by the way. And let's go give me that good orb change. Kaba coming through yet again. See, this is actually six orbs as well. So I'm actually going to hit this, you know, because that will be okay for her. Then we can get Kaba some good defense as well. Because Kaba, you know, give Kaba some orbs. And also, yeah, so 153k defense with this unit with the bolts and everything. But honestly, for how much damage you can do, it's okay that the defense isn't skyrocketed up. Yeah, 4.46 now. 
Like, have you noticed every single time we're climbing just a little bit, just a little bit higher? 4.4 and then into 4.6. Now we're stuck in that 10 million range. 10 million. Wait, no, no. 9 million range. <laughs> oh, because if people don't watch my video the whole way through, nobody will be able to hear that. <laughs> and we're going in. We're going in again. Oh. And yes, maybe this Vados was a waste of orbs, but if I'm going to run her as a support unit, I might as well keep her. And yes, I did not pull the Int Vados, and I'm not going back in the banner though. They can uh, forget that. I'm not about to uh, waste my luck, as per se, because I got stupidly lucky. I'm talking like crazy luck. I think that was six orbs, you know. I think we, we just clutched those six orbs. This has the potential to be a dead strength Gohan as well if I can get that additional 12 key here because again this goes not torn up power or a pure saiyan so we just get that hit and we get the slap yeah so technically we're going to do it for maybe I should have put strength to Kefla just to get that stack but now we're fighting the big boy here we're fighting the built up Gohan and orbs not looking that good honestly I can't get those six or okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this in terms of changing the orbs around, maybe that will help. Will that drop a strength down? That will drop the strength down. But because Kaba did not get that much orbs, he's only on 180k defense. 180k defense actually, that's... That's okay, I'm not going to item up here. I feel like 180k is enough to tank, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine, that's fine. I forget, Champ was actually a really good support. Nobody really uses him, but uh, for good reason, but you know, I feel like Universe 6 need just one more unit, now 5.7, oh my god, hold up, 5.7, what's with the jump up? 5.7 into 5.9, that is 11.6? God, imagine if you did another one. Dude, that was just 11.6 million worth of damage. <laughs> oh my god. Like, when she did 12 mil, that was before with triple. So if she got that triple now, that would just legit be through the roof. I'm actually going to item up here now because, of course, I'm doing okay, but you know, this ain't. I ain't here to show off no items. I'm here to show off Kefla. And if I died right now. That'd be pretty jokes, I'm not gonna lie. It'd be a little bit jokes, but uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we tank up, yeah, three million. Of course, this one has not got the, you know, the champ, or it has not got the cabot with her, so. Bit of damage there, 9.3. Oh, no, no, 9.3. I hit 936. But, so we do over 6 million, so even unoptimized now we're doing 6 million. And like this is kind of unoptimized because there's no strength cabber. You want that optimization, you're going to need that strength cabber. That is another thing about this unit. If you're on the fence summoning about this unit, if you don't have strength cabber, it's not a must get, honestly. It's not a must get. Just save it for the download celebration. And, you know, see how it goes because. I don't know, trying to win this unit without Strength Cabot just feels like you're just trying to get lucky with the orbs, whereas Strength Cabot kind of makes it happen. Strength Cabot is there to make it happen. And this is going to be a dead Gohan. We have done it, guys. Of course, we're going to do this, but l let's see what I get just at the end. Maybe he dodges my first hit. We know, oh, but I'm dodging his first hit and second. 5.1, yeah, so that would have been, again, over 10 million. With, with just one dupe. And that is that. Let's see the time, boys. Because, you know, I always do like checking the time. Of course, I think with all these support units and kind of weakest support units, I'm not going to beat, like, my record or nothing. Yeah, 17.30 when my record was 11.45. Eh, bit of shaft there. But let's talk about the unit. Okay, guys, we're nearing the end of the video. I need to say thank you, boys, for watching. If you did stick around... But what do I think of this unit? Well, I need to say definitely at least top 10 TUR closing in on top 5. Uh, 
I didn't, I'm not a fan of this unit by any means of actually Kefla, but the damage she can do is ridiculous. Like, you saw that, I did like 12 mil in one rotation, I did 11.6 mil one rotation. Most units can't do that, especially LRs, like, this unit does more damage than most LRs, like, this unit out damages LR Beerus and Reese, out damages, you know, like, all the OGs, out damages, like, chunks of money, you know, it does, it does too much, like, all these new Dokkenfests now, like in this, Cooler, the new Gohan, they're on a different level. And I like this, but it makes me feel like harder and harder content on its way. Because, you know, this is this is before link changes, boys. So when link changes happen, it's going to get a bit more crazy up in here. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And if you do like this again, please hit that like and the subscribe button, boys. And I'll catch you on the next video. This is being Kizan. And I'm a bounce out in a bit, boys.